Basi mesikia wewe Kahiga Well you know I have a little hope in you <laughs> Watu wa Nyeri wa Kenya wenzangu Nitasoma risala ya Raila Molo Odinga pia nina rambi rambi za watu wengine wawili moja na ningojea Kimani waichungwa ambaye ni kochea Bombers of Kenya hata tukitoka hapa bwana Rigathi don't think we are disrespectful we have to try and catch up with the last presentations alafu mother wangari karua na vile vile mheshimiwa ambaye tunamweta tunamweta madhuburia ehe mheshimiwa kioni ah uh, let me tell you um wa Kenya kusoma kweli wananja mimi nikiwa nyeri kusoma kweli niko kwa mlima lakini the other side ya mlima Kenya i was looking as we came through kaona maji chemichemi and uh, huyu mama ambaye tunamsindikiza shujaa wetu alikuwa akitaka ku bless watu yake anasema muture tadhagana hiyo dhagana upande ule mwingine ni Tana River inapitia hata kwangu nyumbani Saikuru maji haya kikauka watu wataumia kwa hiyo mambo ya mazingara ni kitu ya maana mimi nilifanya kazi na mzee Kibaki vilivyo kumbukeni wakati wa Africa's first grand coalition government because when Zimbabwe alifuata kisha baadaye Kenya ilionyesha umaarufu wa utengemano wa kweli the first time Kenyans felt they belong hapa nimewasikiliza viongozi in fact it's amazing to have listened to all of you and some of you If you allow me to give you a little advice because of experience I if you don't understand anything understand this as we speak our country is divided in the middle Mheshimiwa Governor Bandirisha we are not in uh, bombers at it to be managed you can't manage Kalonzo we are not here to be managed at waonge tu ndio sasa mkamue maziwa whatever it is i want you to know this is very serious business mshumwa gachagwa you are reputed to speak the truth i congratulate you lakini wakati mwingine ulienda ukambani akaambia <laughs> watu wenu huko ni watu wenu mambo yako na ukasema mmegawa nchi mshumwa ruto atakuwa Uh, upande wa Luo Nyanza na wewe utakuwa ukambani unakaribishwa sana huko ni nyumbani na mimi ni ruhusu niingie Nyeri kwa sababu ni nyumbani tuongee kikamilifu mambo haya oh now to unite this nation we have only this one nation it pains me kumbuka mheshimiwa i think it is our sister from Naivasha Eh, I think there's another one Hussein I think it's a county women rep wa Moranga huyu ananielewa vizuri anasema kibaki did me a favor <laughs> let me tell you if there's one thing which is true serikali ya kibaki ilikuwa imeenda now I was not given in a silver platter at kibaki has done me a favor we discussed na tukawa when I became the 10th vice president of our country it was because we had to bring this nation together wakikuu walikuwa na uawa mainly in the rift valley mimi nikapigilia kisu chini ilikuwa imewekwa hapo kwa kibaki kumbukeni hayo ukweli wa Mungu on a light note to mheshimiwa gachagwa when i went to attend the dinner 
in commemoration of visiting heads of state to discuss climate change issues in Kenya. I went for dinner because I received an official invitation. I went to dinner because I received an official invitation. I went Maybe ukasema naenda usiku. Siju kama you expected me to go for dinner at lunch. <laughs> Light talk. Lakini ikiwa ni mambo ambayo na ramifications. Sasa hivi believe you me as I speak to you. Kuna wa Kenya wengi ambao they like what I'm saying. Na kuna wengine kama nyinyi hapa viongozi and I want to talk to the younger ones. Please do not be <laughs> psychophantic. The world is watching. The world is watching. Watching Kenya very closely. Ukisema taenda kufamia mashamba, let us make sure, and I'm now going to say this, and you have heard Mwishmua Wamalat say what action he took as minister responsible. Kumbukeni Kibaki was a president of the Republic of Kenya. Mzee mwenye imani kabisa whom I decided to help for the sake of this country. Sosa mkianza kusema you want to invade ata risale ya rambirambi kisomwa you even have a problem with it I tell you that is not the way to go. I can tell you that. Wonderful people of Nyeri. And now and remember also I served with a lay sister Professor Angari Madai and when she was promoted to become, when she was given the Nobel Peace Award, I think that is when our sister from Naivasha became, if you remember momentarily, my assistant minister for environment. So we speak with a lot of empathy. People of Nyeri, people of Kenya, freedom fighters, wait to this is the time. We agree. And now I'll read this letter. Message of condolence to Field Marshal Muthoni Wakirima from the Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga. I join the Mount Kenya community and the nation once again to celebrate the life and times of a unique Mau Mau freedom hero, Muthoni Wakirima, who rose to attain the rank of Field Marshal. This was certainly a giant amongst leaders and fighters. Hers was an outstanding life by any standards. We will miss her, but we celebrate her for helping give birth to a nation. The nation she helped give birth to may not have given her much in return, but I want to believe she was not in the liberation war for personal glory or gain. Although we have had Mze Moi Menda, an nominated councillor, she was in charge of Mendeleo Nawake, but even that was probably very small. And if she was in it for our fellow freedom fighters, then a lot more needs to be done. Most freedom fighters just wanted a life of dignity for themselves and fellow citizens. They wanted Africans to be left to determine their own destiny and to govern themselves. I believe she died proud that her larger goal was achieved. In times like this, it is easy and no more to sit back, heap praise on the departed, and return to our offices and homes without asking ourselves whether we treated the hero well when she was alive. What we should have done differently or better, and how to treat the few remaining freedom fighters in a way that makes them and their offspring proud of what they did for the country. As a country, we have to admit that we have not been fair to the men and women who brought us freedom. At past functions like this, our talk has centered on how the heroes fought for land and how they missed out on land. In a changing world, changing economy, and rising population, we ought to think beyond land. Reward to these heroes can come in the form of guaranteed education for children, 
and grandchildren of the freedom fighters. It could also come in the form of guaranteed public service employment for children and grandchildren of freedom fighters. It could come in the form of guaranteed homes uh, from the government uh, for the children and grandchildren of freedom fighters or even shares in blue chip companies for children and grandchildren of freedom fighters. I want to believe that as a nation, we can extend these benefits to grandchildren of Field Marshal Muthoni and those of our other freedom fighters. But whether we extend this or not, Muthoni earned our space in the annals of history and nobody can remove it from there. While the colonialists tried to silence her and put her down, Muthoni sprouted. Her name became a colossal symbol of patriotism far beyond the horizons of Mau Mau and even the borders of Kenya. Because she chose a life of hardship and persecution for the sake of our people in our country, our place in history is guaranteed. She remains a permanent lesson to all of that real leaders, regardless of age, gender, position, health, must be prepared to sacrifice all for the benefit of their country. It is in our memory that, and that of the thousands of other comrades who sacrificed so much for our freedom that we continue to labor for the growth of our democracy. We shall continue to labor unflinchingly in our honor and that of our fellow fighters. Fare thee well, field marshal. And I want to say that we were bad. Honorable Raila Odinga. Musho, when I was vice president, ilikuja hapa ihururu, hata nikapanda mti maali kimadhi mwenyewa alipigwa risas. I planted a tree there. And I even gave instructions to begin the task of finding Mali remains here dead and Kimadi Apo in committee. I want to suggest to Silale, Rigadi, to Silale, Mpaka, to Pate, Mahali, our number one hero, lies. It will give us peace, it will give peace to this country. Mwisho, Mungu, Abariki. Mungu amoradhime kabisa. Thank you.